Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I was about to say Oracle of Wisdom, but that's not what the game is called. In the last episode, we went up Zora's River and we didn't get to chat with the chief, but we did find out that he is in a bit of a squabble with the Sea Zora chief. And we're gonna find out why, but first, let's explore. Ah, okay. So I was positive this was a thing in the painted map design, because uh, I did see it in a personal playthrough where I traveled up the river all the way to Jabu Jabu's den. I have no idea what's there. I have no idea about anything. Uh, in the ocean, I've never went into the ocean. So what we're about to experience is gonna be all new. Boop. Oh, looks like we have a new Zol. Okay, uh... Yeah, I need to not have jumping enemies. This gives us the Hydrozole. Okay, so now we have water ability. Why would that be important? Come on, beat up the water. I'm curious, will the spark instantly kill it? Because it's water? No, looks like that is not a thing water does. However! Hydrozole does seem to pick up in size when in water. It's also one of the few water-based enemies we have. Like, we get a lot of Octoroks and stuff. Octoroks and... Uh, Ocarina of Time, for example. Uh, are very squid, aqua-based enemies. Yeah, I figured it was uh, put out the fires because it gave us the ability to summon water. I'm good at puzzles. And we get another heart piece. How many pieces am I at now? Three. So one more heart piece. And we get... Another heart container, which is good because my goodness, we are dying a lot. Okay, so we got the Hydrozole, the powerful water based enemy. Uh, Chompies! That is what I want for my water-based monsters. Kaboom. Okay, 
Give me the shark. Okay. That gave us Chomp Fin. Oh, good. Hello, Chomp Fin. Okay. Nothing on it. There must be a quest associated to it. There's no way. There's no way there's nothing associated to this boat. Trampoline. Okay. What do we have up here? Because I know I did not travel up here. I did not go in this area. Leap. Okay. <gasps> Finally! Level 2 Boko Blind Sword. Chop, chop. Excuse me. Let's grab it. Oh, that's so good. I guess I should come over here sooner. Get him. Go get him. Okay, what is inside the mysterious box of mysteries? Something good. River horses. Sure. Okay, do not go down the cliff. And the reason why is because that brings us to an area we're not ready to explore. And then this leads us all the way back to there. Okay. Okay, back to the ocean. Okay. I'm not seeing a lot of stuff to do in the water. 
No secret tre- hello? Okay, well at least we'll have the crystals. Chomp in. Oh, what did we just pick up? Albatrol. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. We are... Oh. Okay, that looks promising. Yes, another one! Okay, jump in. Oh, hello. Hello there. Are you out exploring? If you happen to be looking for our village, simply head south from here. Look for the island that's topped with a statue of a fishtail. Okay. Open the chest. It's 50 rupees. Another albatrol. Another two albatrols. Oh, hello. Our Caesar village is really close. Swim south from here a little more. You're sure to see it. Okay. Out of curiosity. Okay. Well, so far... This gave us 20 rupees, even though this was a little harder to get than the one that gave us 50 rupees. Priorities. I'm not quite ready to go to the statue. Five pieces of bubble kelp. Ooh, we have some new enemies. You are... You look like a beery. Beeries! Yes, it's probably a good thing I came down into the... or went around the ocean to get more... Uh... Um, exploration. Do you give us? <gasps> yes! An increase of life! I'm a little nervous about how... Okay, I don't think that fills in the map if I went right up again. But, that's not the point. There's actually a lot of beeries. I 
Make sure we get those kelps. I see a cave here. Our first underwater cave. Our first was barely underwater cave. <laughs> Let's see what we got down here. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I don't have the radiant drink anymore, do I? I don't. You don't provide electricity or lighting, I should say. You do. We got Tangler level two. up on the tangler what secrets did we uh, ten bubble kelps okay well I guess that's okay tangler level two definitely uh, reacts faster there. Hiya! I'm on a treasure hunt. But don't tell my mom I'm here. Your secret's safe. Hi. Oh, that son of mine. He's always going into this cave to pretend he's on an adventure. But it's not safe. Out there with Lord Jabu Jabu running wild, what's a mother to do? I mean, he kind of is safe if all he's doing is going into this cave. I go under. Oh, the entrance is in the water. That's actually a really cool idea. So far, none of the Zoras want to give me a quest, though. Ooh. A Hylian? I'm impressed you were able to swim all the way out here. Do you have business in our village? If so, you'll find the entrance down there. Okay, double check the surroundings. Okay. Let's go into the Caesar village. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Welcome to Caesar village, our underwater paradise, new to the Jabul waters area. We're the Caesar, the Zora that make our home out here in the waves. Chief Kushara and the River Zora chief are having a big tiff. It's going on forever. The longer they squabble, the harder it's, it'll be for them to make up. Okay. So even the River Zora are like... Chill out. The bubble kelp is their, uh, their ingredient and the river horse is the River Zora's. All Zora everywhere love music, and so does the great spirit, Lord Jabu Jabu. 
That's why we and the River Zor River Clan get together to offer our music to Lord Jabu Jabu. But right now he's behaving so wildly that it'd be difficult to stage a performance for him. Okay, that makes sense. Um, guess what? My friend went off on a play adventure. Why'd I stay here? I want to play too. Lord Jabu Jabu has always graced the sea with his blessings. We take excellent care of the sea, so why would he go wild now? It's because his river home is in shambles? Okay. It's an interesting... I'm so sorry. This is a grave situation. First that rift, now Lord Jabu Jabu going wild. Lord Jabu Jabu is the spirit of all Zora, but it falls to us to calm him. This crisis is without equal, and now it's time that I, Kishara of the Sea Zora, resolve it. Chief, what inspiring words. Please tell me how you plan to do it. Lord Jabu Jabu loves our sea music, so I need only get him to listen to us perform. And then Drad, that tuneless buffoon, will have to applaud my performance. I take it that you haven't resolved your latest quarrel with the other chief yet. And why would I? This quarrel is one of the one for the ages. I will never speak to him again. He insulted my music. I will not tolerate his his presence. It's like he lives to provoke me. Oh, we'd be fine if he agreed that I was more talented. Never mind that. We have to leave immediately, Rogma. Oh, greetings, Hylian. I'm on my way out. Your business will need to wait. I am the princess of your kingdom. Did you ever request for our chief? I'm sorry to say that until she's resolved our problems, she won't have time to help. If our great crisis wasn't bad enough, our chief is quarreling with the River Zora chief. They often have their little quarrels, but always make up quickly. Not this time. What's the saying? A squabble a day keeps a friendship in play? Such nonsense. Well, stranger, I shouldn't burden you with our troubles. Rogma, please, we must be off to Crossflow's Plaza. Oh. Yes, at once. Hmm. If you'll excuse me. They went off to Crossflow's Plaza too. Then I guess it's time we join the two chiefs there as well. Don't worry, try, we will. It's such a pleasure to be in Chief K uh, Kishara's presence when she's here. Went to the plaza. The Zora people gathered to take strength. Uh, they went north. Oh, you must be referring to the quarrel between Kishara and the chief of the river Zora. Each has a different way of playing music. That's led them to argue about the smallest things. They usually settle their differences quickly, but their quarrel is going on forever this time. I hope our chiefs can make up soon so they can bring calm to Lord Jabu Jabu. Yeah, their people are way more mature than their chiefs. Okay. Well, let's make our way out to the plaza now. Because we've explored all of the ocean, we've explored all of the river. Let's make our way uh, onwards and outwards. You know what? Let's see if we can... Okay, unfortunate smoothie. 
Oh dear. I wonder if it's because... Ooh. Milky Bubble Smoothie. I wonder if it's because of the conflicting elements. Yeah. I don't want to waste... Okay. Salted bubble smoothie. Radiant smoothie. Okay. Oh, you've got too many drinks. Uh, how much for the unfortunate smoothies? He'll buy them back for half the cost they uh, were to make. That's okay. This is probably going to be a nothing. Yeah. You know what? Let's do these two. Because the monster parts usually... Up, please. Blend. Nope. That has to be something I'm missing with monster parts. Okay. So, we will hold off there. Let's go. Oh, boy. How dare you! You shouldn't have come here. I'll take care of Lord Jabu Jabu myself. Get lost! My thoughts precisely off with you. Magma said I should come, but I never expected to see the River Zora Chief here, too. I'm sure this will end badly. I came because Drad called me here, but boy, have things gotten messy for the boss. Well, what's gonna happen now? Let's see. Hey, Kursha, can you stuff your plan? We of the Caesar will bring calm to Lord Jabu Jabu. Our music can quiet his rage. Ridiculous. We'll do it, not you. Yikes, they're at it again. It was only a matter of time before these two exploded. But not here. Not now. The way you play, you'll just enrage him more with your crude honking. We will play. Insult! Always insult! Says more about your music than mine. But sure, let's do this. Your playing is weak. It's puny. It won't have any effect. What? Now you've done it. There are some things you can't take back, you know. Uh, it's time we settle this. One last performance to see who's playing is superior. No problem. On the count of three, we both play. The best player wins. What? Perform together in this state? My chief, with all due respect, you can't hope to put on a great performance this way. It's no use. There's no stopping them when they're like this. Ooh. Horn and harp. Oh, they both sounded really bad. That was terrible. They didn't play in time with each other, not at all. Oh my goodness! Lord Jabu Jabu! 
You came when you heard my performance, didn't you? How did you like it? Ha! <laughs> There's no question that my playing is what brought him here. Shut up already. Huh? Uh, boss, watch out! Chief Kusha, get back! Oh. He's gonna eat both of them. How can this be? Gulp down the both of them. There's no time to delay. Delay. I'll go in pursuit of Lord Jabu Jabu and rescue Ragma. No fair, no head starts. Our friends are in danger. Forget this talk about head starts. Me first. Hey, you cheater. This is getting out of control, and we still haven't been able to ask them what we need. They've got to open that door to in the den for us, but that'll never happen at this rate. Yeah. What a mess. Hmm. Lord Jabu Jabu went upriver. Do you think he's headed toward your village? Uh. I bet you're right. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. Really? Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Next time when we return to The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom, we are going to be in pursuit of Lord Jabu Jabu. I really hope that the dungeon is not his belly, because that will be the third time Lord Jabu Jabu has appeared, and the third time that the dungeon was inside of him. I'm really excited though because the storyline so far is really interesting and different. It's disengaged from Zelda's involvement because they're so wrapped up in their own heads that whatever we're trying to do is irrelevant right now. It's so interesting and I'm really digging this storyline. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button and subscribe if you have not for more Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. We will see you all next time. Derez Plays is out.